Who doesn't want to make money in their sleep doing something that they love? Creating content is the best way to become your own boss and there's no better time than to start right now. Being a small creator is not easy and I just wanted to provide eight simple tips that I wish someone would have told me when I was starting out. Now, everyone provides tips but I have yet to see someone provide tips as into what creating content does mentally and how to avoid it. I'm Staley Insight. If you're new, hi. If not, welcome back, babes. There's chapters available below in case you wanted to fast forward to something specific. But first, let's get into some background about me. I have worked freelance and nine to fives multiple jobs as a social media manager. I did influencer marketing, campaigns, billboards, captions, hashtags, geography from 2017 to 2019. That is around the same time where I started creating content for myself. And I have officially been a YouTuber for four years now. Tip number one, without faith, you won't make it. Faith does not have to mean spiritual. It can mean the faith that you have within yourself. No brand or hater can control this. So your positive mentality will control anything over any negativity, distraction, dust them the way. Want to know what has helped me throughout the years? Journaling, that's right. Expressing yourself one to two times a day or however many times you choose, it will help you to be able to express gratitude, self-motivation, build your self-esteem, confidence, and manifesting. In order to be a content creator, you have to be your own cheerleader. Your journal will be your imaginary best friend. Speaking of friends, tip number two, network to meet new friends. It's what I call content friends. This step is crucial, hear me out. There is nothing Nothing like having friends in your field. They will motivate you. They understand the trials and tribulations and the pain that you're going through. Nobody, not even your BFF of 20 years or more, will get you. You have to find that content friend circle. Tip number three, do your research. You can't just jump into it. It's not that easy. It's like applying for a job you have no experience in. What the hell are you gonna do? How do you even start? Creating content provides full-time opportunities. So if this is your passion, write this down. Ask yourself, who is your content for? What content format will you be sharing? All while immersing yourself in your fellow YouTubers content. And once you have that all figured out while you're creating your very first video, think about this. How do I want the video to flow? What's the purpose of the video? What's the title? What's the goal of the video? What am I teaching, explaining, trying to show? Tip number four, collect your favorite creators, subscribe to their channel, save their posts, give a like or a comment, listen closely. See what you like about their content. See what they're doing that you feel that you can achieve. For example, they may just do simple editing such as zoom ins, which is great for accent moments. That's definitely something that you can achieve and it still is original. Use them and me as your virtual mentors. Take notes, make it your own, but never duplicate. Your audience wants you, not them. Not a copycat. Tip number five, never be afraid to put yourself out there. Start right now. My highest viewed video received 30,000 views almost four years ago, filmed with an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Front camera too, not even the best. Number six, something I like to call knock on the door method. This is for creators who have created some videos already, kinda liking the niche that you're in, somewhat building your community, being a small creator, they won't always knock on our doors and we want more. So try this. Let's stop here for a second. I want to teach you guys how to professionally reach out and knock on that door via DMs. Because truthfully, sometimes we just don't have access to emails, LinkedIn, connections, etc. So here we go. As you can see here, this is a screenshot of me reaching out last month to Fenty Skin. 
I always reach out to Fenty about every so often because I film so many reviews for them and they do very well that I just want to say hey hey Fenty team my name is from new york i have some great ideas for a collaboration my honest reviews for your products are a big hit on youtube i would love to get in contact with the marketing or influencer marketing department to discuss further details best with that being said it's very short it's brief it's to the point if they are interested they will provide an email that you will then be able to go send them a much more formal email now if you never receive anything that doesn't mean that the door was necessarily slammed in your face you would just have to do the traditional route of searching for the email it's a classic trick that i like to say is influencer marketing but reversed reversed <laughs> meaning as the influencer we are reaching out to the brand whereas the brand usually reaches out to us so the purpose of the knock on the door method is there's plenty of influencers out there. What makes me stand out? What makes me so different? But I'm going to knock on your door to let you know that I exist. And think about it. What's the worst that could happen? They slam the door in your face. You want to make sure that you're providing the link or links to the platform that you use the most or the platform that performs the best. I've lasted this long kit. Tip number seven. If you're feeling discouraged, just look back to how far you've came. Even I have to do this. Journaling helps because maybe there was a journal entry from a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago where I was just totally proud of myself. Go back to the comments under some of your favorite videos where your audience was just in love. Just the things that were giving you that positive motivation to just keep going, keep reading that. Even if you've never created a video before. Think about where you once were. Think about when you wanted to be that YouTuber, that influencer, or the content creator. And now you're literally in the mind space where you're about to achieve it. You're this close. Tip number eight, keep your mouth shut until it's time to speak. I don't care how excited you are. I don't care how much you feel like you gotta tell your mama and them. No, you will never know who was preying on your downfall. And no one can say or do anything if they don't know anything. Let the girls gag once they see the post. Back to tip number one. Make the journal your best friend. You will be able to speak freely and everything is private and in safe keeping. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was insightful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and click the bell to keep up with me. And last but not least, catch you guys next video.